6 laser core 4th, 9 laser core 1st, 6 laser core 4th, 6 laser core 1st. I wonder if this comp is any good. <laughs> Let's find out. Welcome back to another Albato video. In today's video, we're going to be watching a game played by Dish Soap. Dish Soap is currently rank 3. He's about 80 LP from rank 1 at this point in time. And we're playing on the new patch. The new patch is out. Jax is nerfed. Yumi is nerfed. Reroll is nerfed. Everything is looking up. And with so many buffs and nerfs, there's always massive shakeups in the meta. Always really fun to try and play on day one to try and figure out what the best thing is. You're always scanning the patch notes to try and see uh, exactly what's strong based on your knowledge of the previous patch and, and, and the patch notes. And I think Dish Soap might have struck gold with this new comp. So now let's watch the game and try and figure out as much as we can learn to see how we can hard force this comp ourselves. He goes for BF Sword off of Carousel. He has it attached to a Renekton. The funny part about that is that Renekton is a laser core unit and BF Sword is the component you need to make laser core spat. He gets a couple more laser core units and now we get to see his first augment. So True 2's Double Trouble and Trade Sector. He goes for Trade Sector here because I think he believes that if he's able to just natural all of the laser core units, then that is strong enough to just get him to level eight where he can then figure out exactly how he wants to play the game. He chooses to put the sword on Senna and the belt on Blitzcrank. Blitzcrank just got a buff, Senna just got a buff. Pretty good to see those units seeing play. With Trade Sector, you want to buy out your entire shop. So you can see him kind of frantically buying the entire shop. That's just because it's in 2x speed. But you want to buy out the shop to make sure that you have the highest chances of hitting upgraded units. A lot of times you will just buy out the shop, roll, and then sell it anyways. And the reason why you do that is because you never know what you're going to get in the next shop. So if you buy a unit, there's a chance that you just get two more of those units in the next shop. See the admin here? I think it was just like admin's heal on cast or something. He doesn't like it. He just throws it back. And you can start to see how strong some of these laser core units are. If you like watching, or if you're, if you're watching most of these fights, the laser core units are like dealing out a lot of damage even though his entire board is still one starred. Laser Core was already a pretty strong opener in the previous meta and they buffed it along with some of the like units like Senna and Zed. So it just makes sense that you know this comp is is a really good top a really good comp for trying to get a top 4. He gets a Renekton with Spat off of Carousel. And we see the first laser, laser core Spat of the game. So he still only has four laser core in. But the thing is, is that laser core, even though it's three, six, nine traits, having four and five laser core in is often not even that bad because you actually get the extra drone with the unit. So if you have four laser core units like he has here, or he has five laser core units, but he has two Renekton, so it only shows as, as four out of six. But each one of these units are laser core units. So they each get a drone. You can see how each unit spawns a drone. And that drone transfers to the next unit when the unit dies. So even though he only has three laser core in, he has five units that all have the laser core tag and by the end of the fight, his final Senna will have five drones. And the drones proc when getting hit, when, when a laser core unit gets hit, and when they attack. And then it's capped at, like a, at, I believe, one laser core blast every, or like two laser core blasts every 0.5 seconds. So if you max out your attack speed, you actually can't get that many. Uh laser core drones to fire off and deal out some damage but 
a more common strat is actually laser coring the, a frontline unit because a frontline unit can get hit a bunch of times. It's really hard to max out the attack speed of a unit, but a unit can get hit several times in, in like in a really quick succession, and that can uh, make it so that you get the highest efficiency for uh, laser core drones like shooting. So now we see the second augment. <laughs> And the second augment is laser core spat. So here's the second laser core spat of the game. And we now can fit six laser core. So the difference between three and six laser core is that three laser core, each laser core unit gets one drone. And I think it deals like 50 or 60 damage or something per drone blast. Now what happens is each unit gets two drones or no, each unit gets one drone still but the drones do 165 damage so they do almost three times as much damage as laser core 3 and he got pretty unlucky in the early game with his trade sector rolls but at this point in time of the game he was able to just see so many different shops that he was able to upgrade most of his board this is kind of like why he chose trade sector going to this game because he thinks okay if i just am able to have a two star laser core like board of six laser core units then that's good enough to get me to level eight and then once i'm level eight i can figure out how to get a, a top four from there He gets chain off of carousel. He currently also something funny to note. He has literally no item slammed. He just has two laser core spats and somehow he's still 79 health. You know how crazy it is to be 79 health with only with with zero items slammed going into or like at, at this point in time of the game stage three five. And look at this, these laser core units, they just dish out so much damage. And when all of the laser cores or when all of the laser core drones are on one unit at the end of the fight, they almost always just eliminate one unit just for free. The, the drones deal so much damage already that it's really easy to just kill units, even if you're not streaking, which is why it's a really strong comp for top four, because it's really easy to save HP. Now, one thing that he does not have yet is he doesn't have any anti-MR. Anti-MR items or um, through other means, the only other way you can get it is through Mordekaiser. But anti-MR through either Static Shiv or Spark is extremely powerful in a laser core comp because all like the laser cores, the, the, the drones deal magic damage. So you really want something that provides anti-MR. And you can see here he gets dropped components to make just that he chose to go ahead and make edge of night with his previous items and with his new items he's going to go ahead and make spark and sunfire cape now if you don't know mech set is pretty broken in this patch with all the reroll getting nerfed and it being possible to get to level 8 comfortably you now can really easily play mech set and have enough units to make like an actual comp work when you're rolling on level 7 and with how weak set was in the previous patch it, it was just really difficult to actually play play set but set is really strong right now and again, you can see how he's he's choosing to laser core the frontline units because frontline units often are more efficient at uh, dealing dealing laser core damage. Yeah, now with uh, and he yeah he goes ahead and chooses exiles for his his final final augment of the game. 
he was looking at the decision for a while and he was going to go for celestial blessing because if you do not know the laser core drones heal uh the damage that they deal you can heal like they they heal your units you have omnivamp and the laser core drone damage heals your heals your champions and since the laser core drone damage is is over tuned you you often heal a lot more than you probably should be which is why the comp is so strong at top forming ideally what you you get is you get this this set online and yeah see he's he's playing it playing it optimally here he has the edge of night and then he's actually just rolling down for for z2 he gets a triple z shop and what you want is you want Z plus Hacker to give Z Omnivamp. If you don't have Omnivamp through Hacker, then BT is like a pretty good option for this for this comp as well. He was talking about uh, optimal itemizations for Z, and the optimal itemizations he thinks is Shiv plus Edge of Night plus BT or Gunblade, because you want as much Omnivamp as possible so that Zed can kind of just 1v9 eventually when he gets all these duelist stacks stacking up. And if he's getting Omnivamp from an item and he's getting Omnivamp from Hacker, then he just becomes a really powerful unit that is really difficult to, to kill. And you can often just squeeze out top fours for free. Now this game is a bit different because he has two laser core spats, so he actually can look to play nine laser core, but he does need to be level nine for that. So he's rolling pretty deep on eight to try and make sure that he's stable on level eight, so that he can comfortably go level nine without having to worry about uh, like dying. But if you do make it to if you do make it to nine laser core, it is essentially a free first. With how strong the lasers are now, um, with how many drones you get, you know, I'm kind of down for this to be one of the most broken comps of this of this set because the laser core like units are like pretty cool. Just seeing all the drones is a pretty nice sight to see. Yeah, you can see how his comp is sort of coming together. He's basically just playing every laser core unit he can, and then every every hacker he can. Yeah, I kind of got slightly off track, but I was talking about third augment earlier. So he chose exiles, and he sat on it for a while because he was considering re-rolling for celestial blessing to further stack the the omni vamp. And he asked someone in his chat uh, whether or not he had already seen Celestial Blessing in, in one of the previous augments, because it was gold, gold, gold. And if you see an augment, then that means you cannot get it, you cannot see it again. So if he saw Celestial Blessing in either the first or two augment choices, then he couldn't get it for the last one, and he was asking his chat to see or if they remembered if he got it offered alongside trade sector and laser core crest and someone said that he did so he chose not to re-roll but he probably would have re-rolled if he knew if he knew that he could get celestial blessing because like i've been talking about getting more omnivamp is extremely powerful okay so his positioning there's not really much to talk about because since he has Exiles positioning, he almost has to default in the same positioning every single time. Only thing to note is that he's he's shifting around his Zed and his Mordekaiser. He's basically just swapping two units to try and get Zed to either one side or the other. And so he just hit this Sejuani, right? And he actually hit two Mordekaisers before he hit one Sejuani, but he now has nine laser core. He has two laser core spats. 
has Yasuo, Senna, Mordekaiser, Zed, and then he has the three laser core units on his bench. But he cannot fit them until he's level 9. So, but since he has all of them, all he's trying to do is just go level 9 from here, and he has enough golds to be level 9. Also want to note that with the new augment breakdown, gold into gold is 75% chance hero, 70 or 25% chance gold. So pretty small chance of getting getting this to be one of his games. Now that he has nine laser core in, I actually am going to slow the speed. Because watching these fights are just like pretty enjoyable to watch. He, he's able to send it to 9, and then he hits Mordekaiser 2, and you can see the prismatic 9 laser core over there. And then he just chooses to slam all of his items on Yasuo. That's Shiv and double, double Spark. And if you want to know, Kumar Shred does not stack, so he's not doing that on purpose. That's basically just like the items that he got. It was just the best items that he could have for the game. Yeah, look at all these drones on Zed. He gets D-Claw as one of his items, and since he has no more items to put on Zed, he chooses. He, he scouts the lobby, and he sees that the people that he's fighting against are just AP. He just wants Zed to stay alive. Nine Laser Core with Laser Core Spat on Urgot. Want to know some of the best units that you can put Laser Core Spat on? Like I said earlier, you definitely want it on tankier units. So, units like Blitzcrank or like really stacked Defenders or really stacked Brawlers are really good holders for it and then since Urgot's attack speed is so high Urgot uses it pretty well also Urgot's just like a really powerful unit if you see Urgot or Fiddlesticks in your shop you definitely want to click that unit this set this patch yeah look at all these drones so we had nine laser core it gives each unit an extra drone so laser core three 65 damage laser core two or laser core 6, 165 damage per drone, so it just increases the damage. And then laser core 9, 200 damage per drone, you can see it right there, and then each each unit gets a second drone. So if you have this, this 1v9 Zed that's unkillable through a bunch of like Omnivamp stacking, and he has all of the drones on him, then he's going to end the fight with 18 laser core drones. Look at that, it's just so cool. Yeah, that's basically everything. If you liked the video, like it. If you learned something, let me know. And I'll see you on the ladder playing six laser core uh, and going top four every game.